Hey guys, welcome again. Now, uh, uh, before proceeding, I thought that uh, we should know about another production uh, um, drawings terminology, production engineer terminology, saline contact. So, because saline contact, uh, I was preparing another lecture that was uh, regarding anti pumping relay. And in this layer, there was one contact that we are calling it as a saline contact. So I thought better explain you about this contact before proceeding to the video. So let's see what is it. A saline contact is a method of a maintaining current flow after a momentary switch has been pressed and released. So the concept is for example the switch we know in our house is if you press uh, the button it will become on. If you press the button again it will become off. So this is the switch uh, we know, but saline contact is uh, just like uh, if uh, I have an auxiliary relay, when I push, make a push button, the auxiliary relay will pick up, when I release that uh, push button, the auxiliary relay will be reset. It means that uh, uh, this relay uh, is no, not holding its state. So for example, if I want that if I make a push a button, then it should uh, pick up, uh, but uh, it should not reset until I press the reset button. So I should have now two buttons. One button is to make the contactor or relay, uh, auxiliary relay pick, picked up. And if I press the another button, the, aux uh, the auxiliary relay or the contactor should be uh, reset to the energized position. So with, with one push button, energize with and it will remain energized. Even I release this button and with another push button, it's released. So what happened when I press a push button? What I'm doing? I'm using the auxiliary contact of the uh, relay, uh, which is normally close contact, to uh, latch in and uh, or seal in the position or the status of the uh, of the contactor so let us see how it's uh, happening so first uh, just go through the theory quickly consider a relay is used to control the power supply to a motor here we are calling the relay as motor starter coil the relay another normally open contact is used to seal in or latch the start signal that i was saying a start push button is a push and release type that is signal will be available for some time say momentary and then signal will be lost means it's like a pulse so we have to latch this circuit in order to make motor run continuously even after release of start push button so this is there is another term that we are using that we need a latch circuit it mean it should uh, hold its state for this purpose we are using relay m no contact across start push button such that it will take care of start signal after start button is released the seal in auxiliary contact no contact of the start the m is connected in parallel with the start button to keep the start coil M energized when the start button is released. After start push button press, the motor starter coil energized and its no and no contact become NC as shown in below figure. So this is the example of latching circuit means latch is is the behavior of the circuit that is doing it and this contact M is normally open contact of this uh, starter coil or you can say auxiliary relay or you can say a contactor so if it is I did not press the button this is solid DC as we are saying in our production terminology this is solid DC or main DC is coming here if I press the button the DC will be passing through this and it is going to the motor starter coil and this uh, uh, starter coil or this auxiliary relay 
is picked up through DC. When this picked up, energized, then this contact will become close. And now the circuit is sealed in through this contact. So this contact is called as a seal in contact. So DC is a even I release this uh, start button. The, this contact uh, starter coil will be keep on energized through this contact. Now this is close, and it will be a latch. So if I want to stop this uh, circuit, I will just press this push button. As soon as I press this button, then DC supply of this coil will be disconnected or contactor will be disconnected. This contact will become open and even I release it back, I close it back, uh, the coil will not energize. So this is the concept of sealing. So let's see uh, the example. Now I have pressed this start button. Now this M is energized. If M is energized, this contact will become close. Once this contact will become close, even I release this, the circuit of DC will be through this and it will be keep on energizing. So this contact is called serial contact. This circuit is called latching circuit. And the relay we are using for the latch, uh, we can call it a latch relay. The contact we are using it, we are calling it serial contact. Okay, this is the uh, another type of way where you can show how the circuit is drawn. This is another presentation. Okay guys, now I have drawn a very simple circuit because the previous circuit was a little bit complicated. So in order to explain that uh, how serial contacts are working. So here you can see I have a contactor or I have auxiliary relay and I, what I did I used the NO contact of this relay. This is the NO contact of this auxiliary relay in parallel with the push button. So if I did not, uh, okay, so what will happen now, this is solid positive, this is solid negative. As soon as I make this push button, DC will be, okay, DC will move from here. Okay, let me choose. DC will be moved from here to, to the relay through this switch. So now DC is moving here. When this coil is energized, when this push button is is operated, so what I have done, I have closed this path. So now DC is coming here up the, up the contactor and it, it has energized the contactor. Now when this is energized, because this is NO contact, after that, after when it is energized, this contact will be closed. So this contact here is closed now. Okay, now DC has two paths. One is through this, another one uh, one is through the push button, another one is uh, from the NO contact of this uh, relay or auxiliary relay itself. So even if I release this switch back, so now I decide that I am just releasing this switch back. I have put this switch back, I have removed this switch, but you will see that because this contact was energized already, so DC will follow still this path. So this will follow this path. From here, now the contact is closed, so it will follow and the contactor will still remain energized. Even though I have basically uh, take the hand from the push button. So this contact here, this contact is called as ceiling contact. Okay, so this is a ceiling contact. And if uh, I push, uh, if I want to reset, even I, I push this push button again on and off, it will not make any difference because the contact is picked up through its own contact, ceiling contact, which I have put in parallel with the push button. So if I want to disconnect the circuit, 
what I have to do I have to put I have to break cir circuit after this uh, what I will do I will make another push button in series of contactor so I will make another push button okay I will install push button here so if I want to break it I want to now break the circuit I will push this button and then it will cut DC now so okay, I have push it I have pushed this button it will cut DC this contact will become open so as this contact is become open now DC is cut so even I put it back this contact is open so there will be no DC here so this contact will go back and this circuit is open now even though I have take my hand off but this will now remain in off position so this was the concept of ceiling so this will be useful uh, in production theory so I have I hope that you will memorize this concept so we will then move to our new topic thank you very much